Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercraft, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This time around, it's going to be Felix the Cat for NES. And, despite the fact that this game also got a Game Boy port, this was basically the only time ever that Felix the Cat got a video game. That's pretty bad, because, well... I like how this game is, for one, and two... Mickey Mouse, and Bugs Bunny, and... Basically, everyone associated with them got a game, so... Or rather, multiple games, so why not Felix? Ugh. Anyway... We got the professor here, and apparently... He is not happy that we exist, and he has captured Kitty. In exchange for Kitty, he wants the magic bag. Honestly, Felix is not going to take this sitting down, and he will actually go through the end of the earth to get Kitty back the hard way. Now, we have four attacks. Right now, we just got the Punch Club. As we'll see soon enough, that there are other ones that you will be able to get. Those milk bottles will serve a purpose later. I'll explain that on the, on the way. Let's see here. Sometimes... These clouds that look like either the Professor or the or Kitty, they will contain power-ups. And sometimes you will actually have the punch one in a certain location in order to get extra lives or points or what have you. Now, this is our first magic attack, which we got by picking the heart. Every 5 to 10... Felix heads that we pick up, we can get milk bottles to replenish our magic, as well as hearts to basically power ourselves up. Much like this. The second, the first attack with the punch glove, the second one was a magic attack that attacked everything immediately around Felix. The third one is this car that shoots a beep noise in a straight line. As said before, the milk bottles retain your magic. They actually fill up two hearts. Fourth, fourth one is the tank, fourth form is the tank, and it actually arcs when you shoot it. The, the bulls arc, which is kind of annoying. You get used to it, though, and you get used to how it shoots after a while. This is your maximum form, and you can still pick up hearts. If you do, you'll get one-ups. If you run out of hearts with your magic, you will either lose all your magic and go back to the bag, or you'll just go to your the previous form. If you get hit, you go back to the previous form. Which would make getting hearts just from picking up cat heads a little more difficult, but not too much. If you get hit while you have the punch while you have the punching bag, which is your weakest attack, you're automatically dead. Piss or instant death no matter what, so watch out for those. And there's another one that I can attack. And I want to do just that. Yeah, those F-balls contain 1-ups, and I want as many of these as I can get. Which is interesting because, well, the game is pretty lenient with the extra lives, much less, much like Doremi Fantasy was. I mean, if you actually see, like, some LPs of them, I recommend either... Ultimo Chocobo 86, if this is still up. I think it is, as well as the Utility Man. I will put those guys in the descriptions for you. Ultim oh, utility Man's pretty good. He, his, his are just the silent kind. He, he doesn't commentate, but... He does put out some pretty decent non talky LPs, so to speak. Enemies here are pretty... I guess you could say... Vanilla. There's nothing really special about him, and you can take care of him just like that. I want to watch out with these exclamation point blocks because you will break them when you stand on them. And well, you were lucky last time, but now some of them's got to go into pits. Some of those trees, they actually shoot projectiles at you. They can be pretty hard to avoid depending on, well, the immediate environment. 
And there are these birds you can actually stand on. You usually can't stand on most enemies. You can't even jump on them to, to attack them or else you're going to take damage. Every time you make it to an exit, you basically get 200 bonus points for every heart you have left, and then you get a time bonus. Usually have two to three levels in each world. And at the end of each world, you will find a boss. I cannot remember what the name of these bosses are to save my life, because, well, I'm not that much of a fan of the of Felix, and I've never really paid attention to any of it, and I just got another heart right there. And I forgot to mention the magic bag. If you see one, press down, you'll go down at most like a pipe in a Mario game. Inside these rooms it, that the back, that the large magic bags take you to, you will find more cat heads and the chance to get some free power-ups, and if you're in a tank, maybe, some free, maybe a free one-up or two as well. And this is what I was talking about with the projectiles. Sometimes you can't see it coming, sometimes you can. You can slide down slopes if you stand on them. These blocks will break. And I really hate those stupid trees. Some enemies will take extra shots to kill if you have anything left in the tank. This is especially true of bosses. They all take multiple hits regardless of what form you have, but the strongest one always does the most damage and the least amount of hits. So you want to take it with you whenever you go into a boss round, which we're about to do right now. And I forgot what this guy's name is. At least those stupid balls don't bounce. And at least that professor head up there does gives us nothing. And whenever you beat a boss, you're just stuck in place. You can't get the rest of the cat heads. And you get, well, a couple thousand bonus points for beating the boss there. When you get here, time freezes, so you get to keep your time bonus. And apparently every 50,000 points, and I think every subsequent 100,000, you get an extra life. Which really isn't half bad. Then again... It's kind of easy to get extra life in this game anyway. And wow, I actually talked quite a bit this time. It's not like my other LPs here. That is something. I deserve a round of applause. Comments, in wherever you're watching from or otherwise. Anyway, that's it for World 1. Join me next time where we go through World 2. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.